Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, you might have already known that recently I've shifted my home and studio to a new place, right? And you guys have been like non-stop asking me in my comment section like to show my home and studio tour. But to be honest guys, our home is not yet like fully ready. We have a bit of furnishing and organizing things to do and because of this whole lockdown situation, everything is going so slow and getting quite frustrated. But don't worry, once everything gets settled down, I'll definitely show you my home and and a separate studio tour also and for the same thing i was actually planning on buying some brand new tvs for my home i wanted to put a tv in every room of my home even including the bathrooms like why not <laughs> so guys here is my first tv that i purchased it has arrived just now uh, this is sony's brand new 2021 edition model guys the x75 series and you know it's got some pretty nice features for the price it's 4k supports hdr and android tv now so you've got google play store also google voice assistant also and a couple of other smart features which i'll tell you in this video so i thought chalo this video can be quite helpful for a lot of you people because see a lot of people keep buying tvs and changing tvs right so i thought a review on this will help a lot of people and that is the reason i'm making this video so let's get started with the unboxing. Here you go guys, our brand new Sony Bravia X75 TV comes in this sort of box packaging. The TV is actually available in like multiple sizes in this series starting with 43 inches to 55 inches. We have the 43 inch variant. And if you talk about the features, well the Sony's X75 is a 4K HDR TV that is powered by Sony's X1 processor and features X Protection Pro as well. And yes, this is a smart Android TV. And that is pretty much it. There is nothing much written on the box packaging. So without wasting any more time, let's directly get started with the unboxing. Let me just cut this seal on the packaging and show you what's on the inside. So as soon as you open it, we've got some paperwork at the top side. It's a setup guide guys. So make sure to read this, like how to unbox the TV and set it up. Keeping that aside, what is this? Oh, a power brick. Looks like the TV doesn't come with built-in power adapter guys. So you'll have to connect this to the TV. Keeping that aside, you get a pair of stands for the TV, a smart TV remote, and that's it. Now let's take the TV out of the package and show you how it looks like. It's a big TV, right? So I couldn't take it out of the box alone. I needed some help from my dad. The TV easily weighed around like 10 to 11 kgs. And this is our first look at Sony's new X75 smart Android TV. It's got native 4K resolution, supports HDR, and also supports Motion Flow XR200. And yes, it's powered by Sony's X1 processor, which also upscales lower resolution content into 4K. Keeping that aside, you get some paperwork as well in this packet and a pair of batteries for the TV remote. So these are all the stuff we got in the package. What I'll do is I'll quickly fix these TV stands and then we'll set it up and be right back to continue the video. So before we actually get started with the detailed review, let me just quickly show you the available connectivity ports on this TV. And by the way, this is how the backside of the TV looks like. As you can see, it's got a complete plastic body at the backside and has this squarish kind of pattern over here. And one more thing I forgot to mention is you did not get a free wall mounting bracket in the package with the TV. You will have to buy that separately like an optional accessory. And by the way, the TV is also not that slim guys. It is definitely a bit thicker, not what I expected. Anyways, coming to the connectivity ports, you've got all the connectivity ports at the backside over here. Uh, starting from the top, you've got two USB ports to connect some pen drives or any storage devices. And then you've got two HDMI ports as well. Uh, headphone jack is available, RF in is there. And that's it to the side over here. Remaining ports are present at the backside. Uh, you can see that you've got one HDMI that also supports ARC. You've got a LAN port, optical out is also there, AV in and lastly, DC port for connecting the adapter. And that's it, these are all the available connectivity ports on it. And by the way, I forgot to mention, you've got the speakers on the bottom side of the TV, uh, one over here, another one over there, 10 watts each, so 20 watts stereo sound on this thing. And there's a single power button to the center of the TV on the bottom side. So that is pretty much it, our complete overview on the X75. 
All right guys, so I'm back to continue the video. As you can see, the TV is all set up and I've actually been using this TV for the past few days. So now I'll share you like my complete experience and feedback on this TV and what do I feel about the picture quality, sound quality and all that stuff. So first, let me tell you about the design and the build quality. As you can see, this is how Sony's brand new 2021 edition X75 series 43 inch 4K HDR TV looks like. It's their brand new model, which was launched just a few days ago, guys. And talking about the design, it's got a pretty decent looking design from the front side uh, but I do have to tell the bezels are not that thin as I was actually expecting but you do have this nice brushed aluminum kind of finish on these bezels that give you like a nice and you know a rich feel and look to it you've got the Sony logo at the center over here there's a tiny status LED indicator below that and if you talk about the build quality well, I'd say the build quality of this TV is kind of like average guys because see the entire body is like made of plastic and especially the TV from the back side looks a bit cheap and plasticky. Like I've seen much better quality built quality TVs for this price range only. That is why I'm saying this. Keeping that aside, first what I'll do is before we actually talk about the display picture quality and sound quality, let me just show you how the UI uh, apps and features whatever present on the TV are. So this is how uh, Sony's TV's new remote looks like. Uh, it's quite lengthy actually. I would have preferred a much smaller and compact remote. You've got basically all the apps and features present on it guys. You've got some shortcuts as well to YouTube, Netflix, YouTube Music and Amazon Prime Video as well. And since this is a Google TV, you do have built-in microphone and a voice assistant button as well. Basically you've got Google Assistant guys and you can ask any sort of thing and the TV will come up with an answer. I'll give you a demo of that as well as we move on in the video keeping that aside so there you go guys this is how the ui and home screen on Sony's brand new X75 TV looks like. See, this is a Google TV, right? So you can expect the same Android TV kind of interface only. There is nothing new over here. At the top side, you get a Google search bar. And to the right, you have some quick access shortcuts as well to your notifications, settings, and all that stuff. Now going down on the home screen, you can access some of your favorite apps you've, which you can choose and set over here. And down you got some quick access shortcuts and you know like a browse feed from different sorts of apps that are pre-installed or uh, whatever you install on the TV. And if you have subscription to these apps, you can directly view the content right from the home screen itself. So there you go, this is how it looks like. And have I told you the TV is powered by Sony's X1 processor? So, you know, the whole UI, the navigation, everything feels pretty smooth. I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters also. So what I'll do is I'll just show you the apps and you know features built in. You've got Netflix, YouTube, Google Play services, most of these pre-installed, you don't need to install any of them. And in case if you want to download more apps or anything, uh, this is an Android TV, right? So you do have Google Play Store as well. And just by clicking on that, you can easily download all your favorite streaming apps or games and you can easily watch them on this TV. So this is how the Play Store on it looks like. You've got plenty of apps on it. Just browse through the available content and you know you can easily download just for example if you want to download suppose dead trigger 2 just click on that hit the install button and you're good to go and talking about the storage i haven't told you that right well uh, the whole x75 series lineup of tvs come with built-in 16 gigs of storage and out of that uh, you're left with around like 11 gb uh, to be used now what i'll do is i'll just quickly head over to the settings and show you what's available over there as well so this is how the general settings of this TV looks like. You've got some display and sound settings over here, network settings and coming to network, it does have Wi-Fi and supports dual band Wi-Fi guys. So, you know, it's compatible with both 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band as well. Pretty nice. And then you've got some device preferences and basically, you know, your Bluetooth settings. It's got Bluetooth also, so you can even pair your Bluetooth game pads uh, so that you can use them while playing games on it. Or you can even pair some Bluetooth speakers, headphones and listen to the audio on them. So pretty nice. You've got most of the general stuff available on it. And if you talk about the picture settings and display, you know, sound settings, then you can easily access that by pressing the settings button on the remote. Just press that and you'll get this 
pop up UI kind of notification from the bottom side and from here you can easily access all your picture settings. Uh, coming to the picture settings, you've got a couple of picture modes available. For example, you've got the standard mode which we are currently using and then you've got cinema mode, then you've got a special game mode as well. Then there's graphics, photo, custom. Custom is basically like you can tune and adjust it as per your requirement. So plenty of picture modes available. And not to forget guys, the TV also supports Motion Flow XR200. So you'll get that smooth kind of, you know, feel while watching content. That option is also there. So that is pretty much it guys. That was our complete overview on the UI and, you know, the general settings of this TV. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly open up YouTube and just play some video and I'll show you how the display quality on it looks like. But before that, I've told you that the TV also has like a built-in voice assistant, right? Basically Google assistant and the remote has microphone on it. Just by pressing this voice assistant button on the remote, you can command in the remote and the TV will give you an answer. So let's quickly put that to a test as well. What's the weather right now? Right now in Hyderabad, it's 96 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecast high of 97 and a low of 77. Due to the current... Pretty fast and accurate, I'd say. Open YouTube and play some funny dog videos. Playing funny dog videos on YouTube. So guys, you can even open apps and ask it to play content also directly from the remote. So voice assistant was working very well. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll just play some 4K video file on this and then we'll talk about the display quality. Alright, so I've seen the picture quality right, so now let me share you my thoughts and impressions on the panel quality. First of all, talking about the specs, Sony's X75 is a 4K HDR 43 inch TV that comes with native 3840 by 2160 4K resolution and supports HDR as well. And let me tell you, I was very impressed by the display quality, nothing less expected from Sony. See a lot of people tell that you're getting the same 43 inch HDR TV in other brands for much lower price, right? But let me tell you, just go to my channel, I've reviewed many TVs. TVs, uh, 43 inch, 50 inch, 55 inch that are very less compared to this in terms of pricing. See, simple logic guys, when you're paying higher price, you can definitely expect better picture quality. And what you saw right now are like factory settings. I didn't calibrate the TV panel at all. And out of the box, it was giving like impressive results. There was great amount of detail, pictures looking sharp and you know, very crispy on the TV panel. And if you talk about the colors, colors look rich and vibrant. And since it supports wide color gamut also right uh, it was displaying reds blues and greens like very deep colors that you would normally not see on other cheaper tv so that is the main difference and if you talk about the brightness brightness also quite bright and dynamic range is also very good and if you talk about the hdr thing the tv supports only hdr 10 and hlg guys there is no support for hdr 10 plus or dolby vision is also not there these features are available in sony's expensive lineup of TVs. And if you talk about the contrast and black levels, they were also excellent and I had no issues with the display. Fully satisfied for the price. Uh, the TV comes with 10 plus 10 watt stereo down firing speaker and let me tell you the sound quality was also pretty good considering the price point. It was loud, it was producing great clarity with minimum distortion and the output was also loud and satisfying. Just check out this clip so you'll get an idea. Yeah. And this is Shita. And we're back with a brand new awesome video on the channel. Thing is, yesterday we unboxed Sony's brand new PS5 gaming console on our channel, right? So today in this video, I'll be giving you guys an exclusive gameplay demo on PS5, guys. So I've actually purchased a couple of game titles for PS5. Well, guys, that's it for today. That was my video on Sony's brand new 2021 edition X75 43-inch 4K HDR TV. And let me tell you, it's a very good TV for the price, especially 
I'm quite impressed with the display picture quality and the sound quality. Uh, the smart features are also pretty good. It's basically Android TV, right? So you can expect all these smart features, which are pretty common on most of the TVs these days. You have Google Assistant, you've got Google Play Store, you can download any number of apps that you want from the Play Store. And that is pretty much it. The only few things I felt were the build to quality of the TV could have been a bit better. And also the TV could have had a much slimmer profile considering that it's 2021 with, you know, much narrow bezels. That is what I felt. And coming to the price, this is the only thing I was not that happy with. The TV is a bit on the expensive side, guys. This 43 inch 4K HDR TV costs almost like 56 or 57,000 rupees in Indian market. And if you want the 55 inch variant in the same lineup of series, then that is somewhere around like 67 or 66,000 rupees. I'll leave links to them in the description description box below. If only the price was slightly a bit lower now, it could have been like a killer TV in the market. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed and got to learn a lot about this product. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.